Okay, so now we're back with part two in our shadow navigation series. And now we're going to transfer to a board. And it'll be a little bit more accurate that way. And the way I've got this board set up is it's just a simple piece of plywood. And you could do this on a piece of paper, a piece of cardboard, even on a piece of like canvas fabric if you needed to. You could draw a line, a circle around a bush pot, <clears throat> put all your lines in there. You can do most of that by eye and be fairly accurate. And then you could use that object as your shadow board. The object to this is exactly the same as it was in the beginning with our body, where we are proposing an east line to the sun and then adjusting that at an angle to compensate for how many hours the sun is above the horizon. Now, it hasn't been very long since we did the first exercise, so it's probably not gonna be that much different, but we will count hands again anyway because we may have a little bit of a differential there. So I'm at one, I'm still at two and maybe a finger, maybe two fingers, so maybe two and a half hours. So I'd probably stay pretty close to that two and err on that side, then go to the three until I was a full three hands. So what we'll do with this is we'll move the shadow board to the ground now and I'll show you how this works. And then I'll show you how this inclinometer works that I've also got written on the board. That should give you even a little bit more accuracy. All right, so if we put our shadow board on the ground, what we wanna do is we wanna line this up just like we lined our body up. So we want the east line facing the sun. And that means we need the shadow to be straight across this east-west line that we have drawn on our board. And we'll compensate from that. Now we decided that it was still a little bit less than three hours, which means it's not 45 degrees of adjustment yet. It's still closer to 30. So we would adjust in this direction because we're trying to adjust that east line to where it should be. And if we know that the sun rose here and came up and it's traveling in a southern arc, then we need to adjust this eastern line this direction to get it proper. And there would be two hours or 30 degrees would be about right there. Now, I just about lost my shadow. I can still barely see it on the board. Now, let's get our compass out. Again, use your compass for verification while you're doing this stuff to kind of judge what your accuracy level really is. And if we lay our compass on the board with a flat edge, Again, I'll see if I can zoom in on that for you. I'll pick the camera up and move toward it so you know there's no monkey business going on here. You can see where we're at right there. That thing is, again, just a couple degrees off of dead north, maybe not even two degrees, all right? And you can see we've moved our shadow the 30 degrees. Now, remember that the magnetic compass, you're dealing with declination. It's pointing at magnetic north, not true north. So if you've got a six or eight degree declination difference, you know, and you decided that you were going to move that thing into that third hour, and what happened when you did that, you look at this, I'm going to try to get this. Let me shut this camera off for a second to adjust it for you guys so I can get a better down angle on it. Okay, so now I've got this thing to where I can push it more down. All right, let's look at this for a minute. Now, we're almost, like I said, at dead north on here with 30 degrees. And let's say we decided to go to the 45 here. That would put us off almost 20 degrees. But remember... You've got about eight degrees or nine degrees, seven to nine, something like that. I can't remember exactly what the declination difference is here between magnetic north and true north. And you've also got 15 degrees of variation in your hours here as well. So if you're staying within that 15 degree range of difference, you're doing a pretty good job. But that's for practice. You want to figure out which side you want to err on. Do you want to err to the lower end or do you want to err to the higher end? And for me, like I said in the beginning, I would err to the lower end. Because the sun hasn't quite been up three hours yet, I would just stay at the two. I would just stay at one, two hours or 30 degrees. And that gives me a pretty accurate north-south line to my magnetic compass. All right? Now, in the afternoon, things are going to be just the opposite because you're going to put the western side toward the sun 
cast the shadow east and you're going to move the board the opposite direction because you're trying to get the west east line lined up so your shadow is going to move in the opposite direction on the board it's a little bit confusing but it's really not now let's talk about this inclinometer that i put on here and how that can be useful to us and how maybe that's more accurate even than just counting hands okay so here's our makeshift inclinometer with our pocket knife hanging off of it and what that's going to do when we aim this at the sun here it's going to give us an angle here on the inclinometer 15 30 45 60 and so on so when i point this up to the sun from where i'm standing right now and just look across there and just bury the sun with that corner and i look at it it's saying If I trap the string, it's saying 30 degrees. So again, that tells me that that error that I did to the lower side was right. Because 30 degrees is what I want to move my board for compensation, which put us at almost a dead north-south line. So you can use an inclinometer like that where you just point this level line to the sun, and it gives you that differential angle here to make your adjustment on your board. Okay. All right, so let's look at that again. Maybe I can get this on film for you. But if I take this board and I put it up to the sun, looking down this level line and just covering up the sun so I'm not blinding myself with it. And I take this line and I kind of trap the line on the board. I can see that degree differential is 30. It's actually showing a little less than 30. All right. So that's how I use the inclinometer on this thing to give me that angular differential. Then I would put the thing on the ground again with the east line toward the sun in the morning, move the board to get my 30 degree differential, and now I have a more accurate north-south line. Okay, so that gives you a simple explanation of how the shadow board works both with and without this inclinometer. And you can see the inclinometer is going to make it probably a little more accurate than a guess high or low but you don't have to have that and it's still going to be fairly accurate. Remember that this now, because you have a shadow on here, you almost have a needle in the doghouse scenario where if you keep that shadow on the respective point on the compass and you don't let it leave that line, you're walking a straight line. But you could also do the same thing we talked about earlier where you could find an object in that line of travel that you're not going to lose sight of and go. But instead of having to go through all the calculations and move your feet around, you can just pick the board right back up if you haven't traveled for an hour. And you should know that by your pace count and how far you travel over distance. And you can slap the board right back up here and say, okay, there's, the, there's my travel line. Now, what's the next thing in that line of travel? And if I'm not sure how long I've traveled, I can always take another reading, either with the inclinometer or with my hand, to put the shadow in a different spot on the board if I need to adjust that angle as the sun is traveling across the sky. Okay, folks, well, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. I appreciate your views and I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.